Hi guys and welcome back to Macaroon. This video is a follow-up to the museum gel review because there were so many good ideas in the comment section. Many people said how museum gel reminded them of the melting snowman putty and I had actually forgotten that I made this video. The putty I tested out back then was a lot thicker and not transparent, but it behaved in the same way. I also loved this comment, so I decided to combine the two and make a melting transparent blobfish. This DIY gives me the chance to explore more ways of working with museum gel, such as increasing the opacity. My initial idea was to use some kind of powdered pigment, and I found this one lying around my office. I think this is actually supposed to be color changing, but the effect never worked very well, so I'm going to use it as white. The powder mixes very smoothly into the gel, although the result is still slightly translucent. This is a fairly high ratio of pigment versus material, so you'll have to use a lot of powder to get a fully opaque look. Then I decided to try titanium white acrylic paint. I somehow got the idea that water-based colors don't mix well into museum gel, but I was pleasantly surprised to discover the opposite. Just a tiny bit of paint made the piece completely opaque, and you can see the comparison here. This is also perfect as a base for other colors, and I'm using markers to create a hot pink. For the body, I'm going to go with a transparent glittery pink. If you use enough glitter, then it also changes the texture and it looks more solid. I think the aesthetic of this is so beautiful and it's really fun to play with. To make the blobfish, I'm simply rolling out a long strip of pink and then folding it in half. I'm pinching the sides together until I have this shape which kind of looks like a clown's mouth. Then I'm adding a long, teardrop-shaped nose on top. I'm painting on the eyes and also attaching two tiny fins. I think blobfishes look hilarious and I should have made DIYs with them ages ago. Now we're just going to leave them alone for a few minutes and watch everything melt into a puddle. Museum gel is a fantastic material to craft with, and the only downside is that it doesn't hold its shape. However, with DIYs like this, you can use that to your advantage. This is a lot stretchier than the snowman putty and a lot more versatile. Instead of just being limited to white, you can create any color or transparency you want. Another thing I love about museum gel is that you can reuse all the leftovers. Even if the colors are mixed together, you can simply separate them out like this. I find it fascinating that all the tiny scraps of clay end up turning into these droplet shapes. This makes it a lot easier to collect them together and keep it for future use. Thanks a lot for watching this short update, and please check out this video for a combined DIY that uses museum gel and nanotape. I'm Joanna, and I'll see you in my next video.